Good day, fellow phonograph collectors. Today I have something a bit of out of the ordinary here. I have a um, Puck Lyre cylinder phonograph from the early 1900s. This one is from about 1905 and 1906. Um, I recently just got this machine, but the uh, spring was broken and it was missing a reproducer. So me being the handyman that I was, I went and I measured it and I ordered a clock spring, this one particularly and I changed and made my own reproducer uh, because the uh, reproducer is like 150 bucks and at the moment, due to buying this machine, I don't have very much money to spend on a reproducer so looking through my workbench, I created my own and it works quite well. This is an oil funnel I'm using um, as a horn for the moment because the oil, not oil funnel, the horn that it came with is quite heavy and was not meant for this machine. It's actually a Columbia recording horn. Um, the mechanics on this machine is very basic. It's basically just the inner workings of a clock with a um, speed adjustment and um, speed adjustment and a brake, along with a little tiny um, strip of cordage that you use to uh, attach to the mandrel, which is a totally separate piece from the um, rest of it. As you can see, it's just right there. And what is different about these machines is the way that the record spins, this record spins towards you as the governor spins away from you. Which means that as the needle is standing on here, it's rotating this way, pushing the entire system back. Which means you have to have a needle that sits right about, come on finger, ugh, right about here on the record so that when it starts moving, it rotates and pushes it towards the top. I restored this machine to somewhat working condition and I'll just play you guys a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. That's all you do for the motor. That's the on and off switch. Uh, this will run for about three and a half minutes with a brand new uh, spring. And there you can see, you have to be ready to catch that horn or else it'll fall off. Uh, this is um, one of the flaws of this machine is that it has no feed screw. It's such a not cheaply built machine, but low priced, low costing, efficient machine that there's just no room to put one. They do have a little mechanism you can put uh, on here. It's like a, a fork. It's got a bent end here and a bent end there so that you may rest your reproducer right here and it will catch it once it falls off. Those are hard to find, as are most things with this type of phonograph. This was made in either Germany or France, most likely Germany. It's a cast iron base. Everything on here is original except for 
the horn assembly, and that one spring. Yeah. Aluminum mandrel. Runs very smooth. The speed adjustment is a bit odd, though, because it will always either run too fast or not fast enough. It's really hard to adjust the speed. Um, with this tiny little knob here, you have a small piece of felt, and to the felt is attached a little spring. As you can see, when I push it, it dramatically increases or decreases the speed, depending on how you push it or turn it. But that is a tiny little demonstration of this uh, rebuilt motor on the uh, puck cylinder phonograph. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys know of anywhere where I can get a reproducer for a decent price, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much.